Wow. All right, guys. I really don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. Hey guys, I fucking lay some dino nuggy in this bitch. I laid all kinds of dino nuggy up in this bitch. Um, but in all seriousness. The wiring in here is basically done. Um, got all the instrument panel connections just dangling out, you know. Uh, that's Holly EFI bullshit right there. Um, but look at that, look at that, uh, look at that Dakota Digital setup right there. That's pretty neat. You know what? I think that, I think that. Those guys said a pretty neat thing when they made that. I like that. Just got the speaker wire ran down. Had to unfuck the uh, the uh, radio cables here. They were all crimped together. And I went ahead and said, I'm going to make all these connections soldered, heat shrink wrapped, and pretty except for one in here. Right, right there, I said, fuck that wire. So I didn't do that one. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get some carpet up in this thing. Let's do it. It looks like we're on a constant. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Dude, fuck. I'm just gonna lay it over top. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay it over top of the shifter that way. It's, that's what they call a phantom shifter. It's in backwards. I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> Why you, not? You have lost my trust. <laughs> Dude, it's just so fucking nice outside today, though. Can we not do this <laughs> and go outside? Yeah, do you get it? What up guys? I got a haircut. I got a fucking fruit cocktail mask on. Um also wearing this mask on my ass because I did hear uh from CNN that coronavirus actually spreads more through uh butt toots than breathing. So I'm just doing it for y'all safety. Uh, I did get a haircut recently. Um, the little lady did give me 40% off because I have 40% less hair than a normal human being. Uh, I started to cry. Uh, I will say alcoholism and attention deficit disorder don't really go well together because I forgot to um, hook up his left and right turn signal plus high beam indicators on the Dakota Digital unit back there. Can you see that? You see that? Anyway, when I was sober, I remembered and then I hooked it up. But now I got to hook up the rear uh, lights and the courtesy lights and, you know, these beer cans are kind of in the way, but I think what I'm going to do is just do... Okay, that's better. So now I have access to all these wires. And we're done! What are you doing? I'm trying to finish my hood. That way we can put out a video of the gladiator. I think it's safe to say that we can show this because nobody in the fucking world is gonna have any idea what <laughs> the fuck that's gonna be. Ooh, I got a new tool. I got a new tool. No, Mine. No, I... Woo! Thank you, Summit Racing, for getting this out to me in such short notice on such short notice i really appreciate that because we need it
All done in the back of this thing. Uh, I did it pretty clean. Can you see where the fuck it goes? One guy in the comments section said, I bet Wes uses electrical tape for um, wrapping up wire, and that's false. I use duct tape. Uh, then he went on to talk about my back clam smell. But uh, yeah, I've been having, having good success with this, so we can do this now. Lay that back down, and then we can do that. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Tech Tips with Wes, where we explore the whimsical world of automotive service, repair, and technologies. Today, we got the Chevy Camaro here that has a few regular maintenance issues going on with it, and we're going to go ahead and bring you along for the repairing process. So many of you guys have probably experienced an inaccurate fuel gauge reading. That's one of the problems we've been having with this Chevy Camaro. I followed the wires the whole way from front to back and everything checks out fine. So I'm going to go ahead and rewire the fuel gauge signal back to the third brake light. Now that's a solid solder joint. So we need to go ahead and insulate this bare copper wire to make sure that it doesn't short to ground. We also have a little bit of slack here, but that's okay. It just leaves some room for the next guy. Let's go ahead and seal these up with some heat shriek tubing. So how heat shrink tubing works is you go ahead and you wrap up the wires with it, you heat it up just a little bit to get a nice weather tight seal. Perfect. So what could also be causing the fuel level gauge to be malfunctioning is unburned fuel. We got a feeling that this motor is running rich, so we're going to go ahead and pull the plugs out to see what they look like. So it's pretty common that plugs get seized up. People install them without any C, so we got a half inch ratchet here to go ahead and break them loose. So when you have copper heads and cast iron plugs, it's not unlikely for the bolt to get seized up. So we got a little extra leverage here to go ahead and get them out. Guys, let me tell you, this plug is really stuck. So I got a little extra leverage here to go ahead and get this plug out of this head.
Thank you. We got some new parts. We got a new bezel. Damn tooting on the bezel. Look at that. That one's nice. Nice and shiny. This old one looks like a big, crusty piece of shit. Now we can go ahead. What, what the fuck are you doing, man? So this is what happens when you have uh, extreme attention deficit disorder. You fucking put instrument panels in before you remove the fucking plastic covering. Sometimes I think I maybe should claim disability. You is good. Too bad he's not gonna have a microphone for his Bluetooth. I cut that wire in half <laughs> when I was gutting everything. Um, but, you living your <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. This is what I go do to girls, boobs. <laughs> And then she's just laying on her back like this, like... No, she's normally unconscious. Who are you? There you go. Nice. Making a glory hole for Wes to fuck. And the measurements is... 0.5 of an inch hole. So we'll give him a little room to spare. Man, you're really jacking it, man. Wow. You broke it. Round two. <laughs> no, it looks good. Let's paint it. All right, this is the end result, people. It's pretty freaking legit to me, yo. Too legit. Yep. Too legit to quit. All right, I guess I'll put it in there. You want to get something to eat? Where? I don't know. You want to drink a beer? You want to do both? I'm all done. I'm all done. We're all done. We're all done for the night. Max is editing a video right now. You all are probably going to hate it. But we just can't stop. It's like... Crack Can't cocaine. stop, won't stop. It's like crack cocaine. It's like riding a kitty ride that you're too big for. You just can't stop doing it. It's like fucking 18 year olds. Alright, we'll see y'all later. <laughs> and my dick hurts. <laughs>